Hello guys, today we're going to have a look at a very basic Arduino based RC controller that we can use to control our RC tractors. This controller only has one joystick, the joystick has a push button and we have six other buttons to control our model with. So I'm going to show you how we're going to make the most of these limited controls. So what you're going to need for this controller is your NRF24 L01 radio module because that's what we're using in the RC tractors and an Arduino Uno which is kind of like the brain so this is going to control everything really this is what you'll upload your code to and the final thing you need is an Arduino joystick shield so uh, you probably know that Arduinos have a, a fixed pattern of uh, headers here so you can get shields which just fit into these headers so you just put them in and push them down that's all you need so this joystick shield is just one of these shields that obviously has a joystick and a few buttons but the key thing about this for us is it's already wired for an NRF24 L01 radio module so to make this controller all you do is plug your shield in plug your radio module in that's it, that's your controller built. I find that uploading the code works a little bit better when you take off the shield. So um, to upload the code, I'd say upload the code to your Arduino before you put the shield on. Or if you've already got it assembled, take it apart. So you've seen this prototype of a more complicated RC controller that I've uh, built before. And it has two joysticks for controlling your tractor or uh, controlling an excavator if you have one. And two potentiometers for controlling the accessory or uh, in the tractor's case it uh, controls the lifting arms as well so this controller has plenty of controls but we're very limited on this one we've only our joystick and a few buttons so I've done a few things in the code to make this joystick able to do almost everything that this one can do so I'll demonstrate the smaller controller controlling the Massey 8680 and then I'll just talk you through the code and explain what everything's doing Okay, here's our Massey 8680 ready for testing. Uh, I just have the battery sitting on the top here so that I can plug it in and plug it out as I'm switching the camera on and off again. I have our basic Arduino controller here and I'm going to use a 9 volt power supply. And remember that you're using an Arduino here so any power supply that you can use with the Arduino is obviously you can use it with this. So we should be in first mode because there's two modes on this controller in an effort to give it as much functionality as the more complex controller and we should have drive you can see with our joystick we have control of our drive and our steering so so you can see we have no problem controlling our tractor now our four buttons here, in the first mode they control some lights, so this should be our right indicator, see our indicator flashing there, turn that off, our left indicator, and when you hit both buttons you get uh, your hazard lights, ok, that's the first bit of control, so that was D and B buttons, when you hit A button should get your headlights so that's the controller of our headlights okay well my batteries keep dying before I get this recorded but I've plugged it into the trailer now so hopefully we'll get this final shot done so the final button the C should turn on the lights on the top but there looks to be a slight problem there if you see the lights are flickering I think that's a, a debouncing issue so I might have this testing the wrong button uh, to catch the debounce for button C so I'll have to change that in the code, but that will be fixed before you get the code. So that's all the lights, that's all these buttons. Now, the next problem, how do we control our accessory or our lifting arms when we don't have two joysticks or the potentiometers? So to get around that, what I did was, you hit the E button, that puts it into the second mode. So now we have control of our lifting arms, you can see that, but obviously we can't leave the joystick in a fixed position so to get around that, now when you push the B button 
that locks the lifting arms in place so I can move the joystick but the lifting arms stay where they're wanted and if you want to move them again hit the B button again now you can control your lifting arms again so put them where you want hit the B button to lock it in place and that's it now for your accessory that was the Y position to control the uh, lifting arms so for the accessory here we can move the joystick from left to right to control that that's that and with the D button you can also lock that to move so now now you can see I can move the joystick without moving that so that's how I got around the lack of control to control the lifting arms and the accessories so now if we flick back to drive mode our lifting arms are still locked in place and we're able to drive so I think that method works pretty well and if you wanted to uh, add another control so say you want to drive the lifting arms accessories and you had a loader so you could click once to go from drive mode into the lifting arms click E again to go from the lifting arms into the loader and then click E again to go from the loader to drive mode so because you have the Arduino you can just keep adding systems like that whatever you need just keep looping around I have the F button set up for to switch between the tractors so when I flick from when I click F it switches from the Massey to the John Deere but the problem is that the John Deere is not set up to drive the same way as the Massey is where you put the joystick forward to go forward and uh, you turn it left to steer left the John Deere is set up with two joysticks so you put the right joystick forward the right track goes forward left joystick forward left joystick or left track goes forward so that control is a little bit more complicated for the John Deere and uh, I haven't just dealt with that yet uh, I'm not even sure if I'll bother I mean uh, it's much easier to drive the John Deere with two joysticks and you can get a hell of a lot more control than you would if you were trying to drive it with one joystick so I think I might just leave this controller for the kind of conventional tractors one thing you'd probably want to do is uh, just mount this on a little bit of wood so that your fingers aren't catching on the pins on the bottom of the a controller all the time so you might just have a little bit of wood that might feel a little bit better because this is this feels very small uh, trying to move like this so if you had a little bit of wood just to bring it up to a slightly larger size it would feel much more comfortable so what I mean is uh, if your hand was was able to hold the controller like this rather than like this it feels much more comfortable to flick the buttons like that it's the same thing on the joystick side but you see I have the cable in the way here but if you wanted to build say a battery pack or something into your controller you could um, maybe use the raw pins directly you could even solder to the raw pins so say there's V in and ground so they're the two pins you want so these two pins here V in and ground they're the pins that you would need to hook your battery up to so you could just solder directly to do these two pads solder your battery connections there that way you could power your controller because the V-in goes to the voltage regulators and that provides your 3.3 uh, volts for your NRF24 radio module and your uh, Arduino. I know this is a very basic controller but it's very good for prototyping. I mean you just upload the code, put the three pieces together and you have a controller ready to test your new creations. Or multiple controllers, I mean if you bought a few of these things when your friends come over you can uh, very quickly get everyone a controller it's just ensure that everyone's connecting to a different tractor and hopefully we'll be able to work that way I haven't tested more than one of these together yet so I don't know if it would work for sure but the idea behind this would really be that you could have a, a lot of these very basic controllers it doesn't take any time to build them and you could give a few to your friends and everybody should be able to control one tractor at a time or maybe you know you could flick between a few different tractors but the point is that everyone could have a controller very quickly and very easily but uh, I'm not 100% sure that they would work or how many of them would work together so we need to test that out at some point in the future but at the minute I've only like, two models working so it's kind of hard to test these things out so that took a little bit longer than I expected so what I think I'll do is I'll talk about the code in a separate video and I'll just end this video here 
and if you want to see the video about the code you can just click the link that should be in the description and uh, that should bring you to the other video so if you like this video about the basic controller make sure and give it a thumbs up and share the video that always helps and if you have any comments or questions on the video you can post them below the video or in the forum and the code for this controller will be available on the website so just follow the link in the description and uh, you'll be able to download that there and that's pretty much everything so thanks very much for watching hopefully uh, you'll get some use out of this controller mm -hmm.